Hi. In the last video, we studied about machine language. Now, we are going to study next type of language, which is assembly language. Before moving towards assembly language, just think about some symbols that are often seen in surroundings throughout the day. They may range from some pictures to words, from shapes to objects, etc. Instead of writing the word full stop, I can simply use a dot for representation. Instead of writing the word arrow, I can simply use the shape of arrow to represent the flow of information from one point to another. Similarly, in computers, we use mnemonics or symbols to do programming easily. Like add for addition and sub for subtraction. Thus, by definition, the language that uses mnemonics and symbols to represent information is known as assembly language. For example, if user wants to add two numbers, then he or she need not write a long pattern with a combination of zeros and ones. He or she can simply write it as add two comma three. Let's look into some features of assembly language. It is English like language. It uses symbols instead of zero and one patterns. Assembly language needs to be converted into equivalent machine language because computer understands only zero and one. Hence, we can see that assembly language is a little bit easy as compared to machine level language. However, Still the symbols are fixed and needs to be remembered. Thank you.